Hello, and welcome to a double statue review for the Naruto Shippuden 20th Anniversary Special Costume Statues. So, we today have in front of us Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, and they're both wearing a anniversary costume for the 20th anniversary of Naruto Shippuden, as in the anime, I don't think it comes to the manga. Um, I don't know if these costumes are actually based off anything, if there was like official illustrations or something. I don't know if they're just special statues, but when I saw them go up for pre-order, I knew I had to pick them up because I, I really like the styles here. So I'm going to be opening up each one uh, in turn. We're going to start with Naruto, then we'll get around to Sasuke, then we'll take a look at both and stuff. So I'm going to put Sasuke to the side for now, and we'll just get straight into it. So, as you can see there, it does say 20th anniversary. It is of the anime, as I mentioned. Um... I don't know if Shippuden is 20 years old, or if Naruto as an anime is, because, I don't know, 2003 I think is when Naruto started. Uh, so, as we can see here, it is Uzumaki Naruto, it is by Bandai, it is Jaya specifically, uh, we've got the um, the holographic thing there for Pierrot, uh, who are the animators of the anime, obviously. 20th anniversary, we're on the side, we've got a full up look at him. On the back, we've got both of them, so this is a set of two. I don't think they did a Sakura one, uh, although it would be cool if they made more of the um, more of the cast. Kakashi would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, and there you go, Uzumaki Naruto. So, I'm going to go open this up, and we'll take a look at the statue inside. And for those of you interested, he does come in three parts. So the head, the body, and the base. I'm going to go assemble him. All right, he is assembled. So... Uh, he went together pretty well, fit on the base, a um, little bit, a little bit of stretching of the leg sometimes, but that's PVC statues for you. But otherwise, uh, yeah, uh, pretty easy to assemble, the head fit in very, you know, there's only one way to put it in anyway. So, uh, as always, let's take a look from the bottom up. So his base, i got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed with the base. Um, I don't know what I expected exactly, I mean, bases aren't they? you know, deal breaker for statues, but I don't know, I'd have liked maybe sort of the, the Konoha symbol, or maybe just his name or something, but no, it's just plain black, but that's fine. Anyway, let's start from the bottom up. So we've got his uh, sandals, obviously he's dressed in a kind of like festival outfit and stuff. Then moving on up, we've got incredibly baggy pants, they're kind of dark blue slash, slash black, very cool. Um, and then we have the kind of bottom of his sort of traditional dress. I don't know exactly, is it a happy? Or maybe it's not a happy, it's something else maybe. But he is wearing a sort of traditional Japanese type garment. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the top is kind of folded down because he's exposing one arm. Yeah, um, I don't know how well it's coming across on here, but you know, the on the camera, but... There's there's not a ton of shading or anything going on, but it's still pretty defined. Uh, and then we've got his sort of sash or belt. I don't know exactly what that is particularly. Uh, and then we have some of the... I don't know the name of them really, but they're the things that kind of appeared when he was in the sort of QB uh, cloaked chakra kind of final form thing going on. So I think that's a nod to that. Uh, and then going up, we've also got a few sort of, um, I don't know if it's a Rasengan sort of reference, or maybe it's just kind of a, a nice one. It reminds me a little bit of the Crunchyroll logo, actually. Um, and then going round to the back, we've got, um, I don't know what you'd call this either, but the sort of like straps slash belt or something that goes across his shoulders. And of course, we've got, his golden uh, sash that's kind of holding everything together, uh, which has a very pleasant reflectiveness to it. So we'll go back to this. Um, honestly, pretty detailed. For a prize figure, I, I've i seen less detail before. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think this is going to like blow anyone's mind, but I think that's pretty good. I will, of course, be putting more detailed pictures in the photo collage in a second, so... If it's not coming out great on video, don't worry. He's doing the peace sign. One thing I did notice is when you put him there, the peace sign is a lot more downward facing, uh, as is his face, really. So 
I guess you'd want to display this slightly higher up, maybe, than other things, which is fine, like a clear acrylic riser or something would look well. Uh, he's also got this kind of... Oh, okay, I, I got you. So this kind of bow thing is on this side as well, but slightly obscured with the folds. Uh, he's got like a plain black shirt underneath. Uh, obviously, this is kind of a... Uh, a festival version of his, you know, Shippuden outfit, which I really like. And then onto his face. I've got to admit, I am very impressed with the face. Now, obviously, I know Bandai have been doing Naruto statues for years now. So they've kind of perfected the face. But yeah, genuinely, that is really cool. Um, I think it looks, like, pretty spot on. Uh, especially for this greed of statue. So then his hair there is kind of a spiky as usual. This is of course his Shippuden look, not his Boruto look. Um, and yeah, sort of not much shading or anything going in, but the layering kind of adds that shade. And last but not least is the QB Festival Mask, which I love. Um, I love sort of characters with masks and stuff, as I've probably mentioned on this channel far too many times already. But I am a sucker for Hanabi masks and other like festival masks, especially in Japan. Because they're just, they're so cool. Um, and I really like this. It's kind of like, maybe not subtle, but it, it is a kind of nice way of, kind of like an alternate Naruto, maybe. Kind of like, you know, it's in a universe where Kyuubi is kind of his mascot as opposed to something within him. Or someone just specially made him a Kyuubi mask. But that again is very, very cool. I like it. And yeah, overall, I think it really pulls it together. I love uh, alternate sort of versions and alternate costumes of characters. And honestly, with Naruto, you don't get a lot of that. Like, they'll have one costume change in Shippuden from Naruto and one in Boruto from Shippuden, but that's about it, really. So anytime you get a, get a CE, you know, especially a Naruto character in a different costume, it does kind of grab my attention. But yeah. That is a look at Naruto. I'm going to go do a photo montage now of just like looking at him and then we'll get on to Sasuke. So B R B. Alright, so that was a look at Naruto. Obviously, we'll be looking at him again at the end, but uh, first, we're going to open up Sasuke Uchiha. So, much like the Naruto box, there's, uh, there's no need to go over the rest of it, but it's the 20th anniversary again. So, look at all of him. Let's look at the back again with Naruto, and that is a kind of like further look at him. So, without further ado, I'm going to go open him up. And much like Naruto, he comes in three parts, the base, his head, and his body. So I'm going to go assemble him. All right, I have assembled him, so now it's time to take a look. So much like with Naruto, the base is pretty uh, plain. I got a bit of trouble putting his feet in the uh, stand. They were I really had to bend them. Uh, thankfully, you know, they, they look fine and they do warp, I guess, in transit. But that was unfortunate, but nevertheless, let's take a look at Sasuke from bottom up. So, he has different boots to Naruto, he doesn't really have the sandals or anything, he just has regular boots, uh, and also very puffy trousers, like Naruto did, but obviously they're not um, quite as high up. And then we get on to the cloak, which I've got to admit, I am a sucker for kind of dark and edgy designs, this is so cool. That that little like hint of uh, you know like lightning blue there, Chidori obviously, reference to which I'm guessing is it was Rasengan then, uh, which was the reference on his kimono, uh, Naruto's obviously, and then we've got his uh, kind of purple cord that he wore throughout Shippuden. Uh, 
around his waist. Also, I forgot to mention, I did notice Naruto had a red kind of code thing around him. Um, he sometimes has a bit of red on his outfit, but I don't know if he ever really wore much with that on. But anyway, we are down to his left arm, so we definitely know this is Shippuden Sasuke because he's got two arms. Um, kind of spoilers of Boruto, but it's been a few years now. Uh, so there you are, he's got his fingerless... Well, I was going to say gloves, actually, but no, it's more of a... Um, kind of the wood from now, but things that samurai and uh, ninjas would wear, the sort of, like, hand protectors going up there. We don't have much going on. It is kind of a dark cloak. Uh, we do have, however, kind of, like, on both shoulders, the... Um, it's, it's like a traditional Japanese yukata kind of thing, isn't it, on the shoulders. It's kind of... it looks open and unstitched, but I think that's a design choice. And then over to he's got his clenched fist there. Now this is held up a lot higher than Naruto's kind of like downward sloping um, peace sign. So I don't know what's going on there. And we've also got a bit of pole. Are they pauldrons? I think they're pauldrons. The kind of samurai armor thing going on in his arm. Yet again, just styling. Uh, I, I am I am a sucker for unnecessary samurai uh, accessories. And then we've got a charm, maybe? Are these charms? I don't fully know. I'm sure they are traditional Japanese stuff. feel like I've seen things like this on other outfits before. Let me know in the comments if I am wrong, though, or the significance of them. And then over to Sasuke's face. Much like Naruto's, I think it is very good. Um, his face is a little bit simpler, so... It's harder to go wrong as well, but I mean, they nailed Naruto. They, you know, they've really got Sasuke's sort of, like, grim expression. And then over to his hair. Um, so I do have an old Sasuke statue um, that came out with Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. And I've got to say, they've definitely improved the hair a little bit. Uh, not there's much more you can do with Sasuke's hair, particularly. It is kind of just jet black and slightly spiky at the back. But it definitely looks a little bit better, uh, I think. And then, of course, on to the Susano face. Uh, I'm going to have to heighten the camera a little bit. There you go. That, man. The kind of, like, purple Oni face is just... Uh, it, it, it's so perfect. That is really nice. And, I don't know, may, maybe it's because his head is a little bit more tilted or something. But this doesn't catch shadows quite as bad as QB. Uh, for some reason, when I was uh, getting photos of the Kyubei mask, the bottom part was just obscured in shadow, no matter how I photographed it. You'd need, like, a sideways light for that, whereas this, for some reason, I don't know, this doesn't really have much of a shadow, apart from his massive pointy nose, but he is an Oni, so we'll forgive him for that. So, there is Sasuke 20th Anniversary special costume version. And go take a few photos of him now in a photo montage, and I'll be our be. So, gone ahead and taken photos of the two and a few together at the end there. And honestly, this is a set that really goes well together. I mean, I think that was kind of the point. But you can definitely pose them in some pretty cool ways. Uh, I've done this, which kind of feels a bit more open, if that makes sense. But of course, there is the standard as well, which is like that they're both doing that. I think that looks better. To be honest, I think maybe that's the pose. Actually, yeah, I was correct. I just checked the back of the box. But that is kind of what they're displayed as being. And I think it just goes really well like that. So that's how I'll be displaying them as well on my Naruto shelf. Yeah, and honestly, I am very impressed with these figures. I'd say in terms of 
detail quality. I have seen better prize figures by Bandai. Uh, the Dragon Ball ones, for example, do tend to be a little bit more detailed. Not that I've bought many, but the ones I do, I'd say they're a little, like a half step above these. But I am, I am a sucker for limited things. Um, and these are, I say limited, I mean, they're not like, I don't think they're going to be valuable or anything in the future. But I do like kind of, you know, celebration limited stuff, and this is definitely one of those. Uh, as I mentioned, if they do do other ones as well, Sakura, Kakashi, you know, th honestly, they could do probably hundreds of them. Uh, I'd probably, depending on how cool the outfits look, I'd probably maybe buy those too. But for now, I am very happy with these two. I love the whole festival kind of theme with it. Um, and honestly, I don't have regular Naruto in statue form, just because I'm not huge on his outfit, but I really like this one. I think if I had to choose, I'd say Sasuke is maybe my favourite of the two, just because there's a little bit more, I don't know, like, cool factor, maybe. I do, I do tend to appreciate the more edgy characters in anime. So, you know, maybe that's just bias and stuff, but I think they both look amazing and they both really bring out the character of each character, if that makes sense. Naruto is very bright and cheerful and sort of like all up for the festival. Sasuke is more sort of traditionally dressed, you know, he'll be there, he'll wear something, but, you know, he's not going to go all out. And I, I just love the masks. Honestly, the, the masks really pull everything together. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I can't think of much more to say. I'm just going to keep rambling, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will leave you a playlist from my other statue reviews in the corner there, and I'll leave YouTube choose another random video for you. Um, also, in the comments, let me know if you guys have these, or if you know where they're from, if they're based on, like, official illustrations or something. Maybe it was, like, in Shonen Jump or something like that. I'm not sure. But I'll let you get on with it. And until next time, goodbye!